Textbooks are going to tell your kids that the peppered moth is evidence for evolution. This was proven wrong years ago. The peppered moth, according to the story, had dark babies and light babies, but on the light-colored trees, the light ones blended in better, and the dark ones got eaten, eaten more. And then when they burned coal in the factories, the trees turned dark, and the dark ones blended in better, and the light ones got eaten. And so they say the population ratio shifted from 95% light to 95% dark. Well, the problem is the whole story is baloney. It didn't happen. They glued dead moths on the tree to take that picture for your kid's textbook. After 40 years of watching, they found two moths on the trees. Two in 40 years. What's 95% of two? Uh, so, if you have evidence for evolution, I really want to see it. However, the peppered moth is not evidence for evolution. Even if the story were true, all they had was a shift in the population ratio. That's proof of a designer giving his creatures the ability to produce a variety of offspring so some will always survive. That's still evidence for creation, if the story were true, not, not evidence for evolution.